Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play a cool dominant seventh arpeggio over blues. So if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe to see more. This is awesome. Okay, so we can, let's get into this. Okay, if you don't know what a dominant seventh arpeggio is, it's this. We're going to do it on the A. Now there's a video I did earlier that shows you the notes. All right, so what the notes are. Okay, I'll go ahead and tell you what the I'll go ahead and, so I'll go ahead and tell you what the, the notes are. Okay, I'm gonna go pretty quick though. So on the low E, you start for the A, for the A dominant seventh arpeggio. For the on the low E, I put my <laughs> a dominant seventh arpeggio is something that you can play over seventh chords and blues progressions. And I'm gonna show you how to play that, but then I'm also gonna show you how to play it cooler. All right, and so I'm just gonna tell you how I play it. I take my again we're gonna do the A dominant seventh arpeggio. Okay, I take my middle finger and I put it on the fifth fret of the E. I take my pointer finger, put it on the fourth fret of the A. So I pick down, then I pick up. And then I take my pinky, I pick down on my pinky on the seventh fret of the A. And then I pick up on the fifth fret of the D with my pointer finger. And then I pick down on the seventh fret of the D using my ring finger. Then I pick up with my middle finger on the 6th fret of the G. Then I pick down on the 5th fret of the B using my pointer finger. So then I pick down with my pointer finger on the 5th fret of the B. Then I pick up with my pinky on the 8th fret of the B. Then I use my pointer finger pick down on the 5th fret of the E. And then I pick the ninth fret of the E with my pinky. And then you just go back down. When I, when I go back down, I go, I pick up on the, my pinky on the ninth fret of the E, and I pick down, and uh, then I go alternate picking from there. Okay? And the way you use this, which is really cool, like with a pentatonic scale, you just stay in the one box. You know, if you're doing an A minor pentatonic scale, you're just gonna be but you're not gonna you're always gonna stay in that one scale no matter what the chords do when you're using the dominant seventh arpeggio in a blues progression you're gonna follow the chords around and you're gonna start right there with your middle finger is the root so it's an a like if they're playing like in this song i, I my little groove i made that's an a so i can go so that's an a so that, okay but then it goes to a um a D, a D7, so then I go up here and I do the same shape up here though, on the, starting from the D. And then back, so anyway, bottom line is you just follow the chords around, okay? Now, you know, I was excited about just playing, chord, you know, the scales over the chords, rather than just staying on the one scale, so I was doing stuff like this. So that's what kind of stuff I was doing, but I was trying to get more musical. And somebody mentioned that we can you can use a different kind of pattern. So you know, so when you're using the pentatonic scale, so rather than doing just this every time, do something like a. Because that sounds more musical. So I tried I tried to apply that to this. I was trying to go, but it was just right here. It gets it gets difficult and it gets sloppy. No matter how many times I practiced it, it just felt so uncomfortable. Salt. So what I figured out is I decided to move some of the notes up to the next position. And so what this little lick is, is doing that pattern and using and It's awesome, okay? And, and actually I had a longer one. But I'm just gonna focus on the smaller one today. Put, put 
a comment, a comment if you want me to play the whole, the whole thing. I'm just gonna do like, the, 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 the shorter version today, but if you wanna learn the long one, just give, but if you wanna learn the long one, just give me, uh, I can't talk. I'm just gonna do the short one today, but if you want the long one, leave it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the short version today, but if you want to learn the long version, then leave a comment and ask me for it, and I'll tell you how to do it. I'll give you the tabs, or I'll do a video. So again, I'll just tell you what it is. It's the same thing I was talking about. So my pointer finger on the, or my middle finger on the fifth fret of the E. Pointer finger on the fourth fret of the A. So pick, so pick down on the fifth fret of the E. My middle finger. Pick up on the fourth fret of the A. And then I pick down on the seventh fret of the A. But then I pull off back to the fourth fret of the A. And then I hammer on, back on. You can either hammer on or pick, hammer on or pick back. You can pick down on both ones. And then I pick up on the fifth fret of the D. And then I pick down back on the seventh fret of the A. Pick down on the seventh fret of the D. I pull off from the 7th fret of the D to the 5th fret of the D. Then I pick down again on the 7th fret of the D. But then I, I pick up with my pointer finger on the 6th fret of the G. And then I pick down again on the 7th fret of the D since I'm already there. Then I pick up again on the 6th fret of the G. Then I pick down with my pinky on the ninth fret of the G. And then I just go back, I pull off to the sixth fret of the G. So I use my middle finger to, to pick down on the seventh fret of the D. And then I pick up on the sixth fret of the G and then back down to the seventh fret of the D. And so then I go use my index to get to the fifth fret of the D. Then I use my ring finger to hit the seventh fret of the D. This is a little tricky. So then I pull off with these on with my ring finger from the seventh fret of the D to the fifth fret of the D. But I use my pinky to hit the seventh fret of the A. And then I pick up on the uh, fifth fret of the D. Pick down on the seventh fret of the A again with my pinky. Then I pick up on the fifth fourth fret of the A. Pick down on the fifth or the seventh fret of the A again. Pull back off to the fourth fret of the A. And pick down on the fifth fret of the E. So. The, the fingers are a little weird at first, but it gets where well, you can it, it gets comfortable for me at least. You can use any fingers you want to, but that one works for me. And then you just follow around the chords. When you get to the D, you go back to the A, and so forth and so on. So again, the whole point is rather than doing this. Do this. So if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe to see more.